After two days of violence, Baghdad's heavily fortified green zone is emptying of protesters. A sharp contrast to earlier scenes. Violence broke out on Monday when powerful Shiite leader Moqtada al-Sadr announced he would quit politics. A day later, he apologized and called on his supporters to stand down and go home. There are some brutal militias, but the satirists shouldn't be vulgar. I still believe that my supporters are disciplined. That's why if you don't withdraw from the parliament within 60 minutes, I am not going to be the satirist movement leader again. I don't even want you to stage a peaceful demonstration. It's not the first time Sada supporters have forced their way into the presidential compound. They've been demonstrating for months. This is a political rivalry between uh, two uh, different parties or sides of the spectrum. One side uh, trying to maintain the consensus agreement of the consultational democracy, impulse 2003 Iraq, and the other side, which is the Sudras movement, trying to uh, 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 revamp the political system in Iraq. His party won the most parliament seats in elections in October, but failed to form a majority coalition. Sada may have told his supporters to stand down. But with such intense rivalry at the heart of Iraqi politics, there are fears it's only a matter of time before chaos and bloodshed is repeated. Laura Baden-Manley, Al Jazeera.